The following segment is sponsored by Enzyme Medica. The burning pain of acid indigestion is incredibly common. A third of the U.S. population experience heartburn on a weekly basis. Integrative pharmacist Sherry Torcos is here to share what heartburn sufferers can do to find relief. So Sherry, can you explain to us what causes heartburn and just how common it is? Heartburn is an incredibly common um, condition that affects almost everybody at some point in their lives. But for about 60 million Americans, it's a monthly problem where they're feeling that burning pain in their chest, digestive distress. It can be downright uncomfortable. Um, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to heartburn. This is not just a problem for people that are overweight or obese or during pregnancy. Uh, certainly those can be risk factors, but even otherwise fit and healthy people can experience heartburn, um, whether it's due to overexertion and exercise, Stress can bring on heartburn, uh, imbalances in gut bacteria, um, and sometimes we don't even know why it occurs, but it just happens. So this particular study is adding to the growing body of evidence connecting the frequent use of a class of drugs called proton pump inhibitors or PPIs with dementia. So your proton pump inhibitors are available over the counter and they've been over available over the counter for about 20 years. And these drugs um, do help with heartburn, but their use is associated with some real concerning risks and side effects. So in this particular study, what researchers did is they followed people that were using this class of medications, the PPIs, and what they found is that people that were taking them for four years or longer, they were experienced a 33% greater risk of dementia compared to people who had never taken these medications. And there is a growing body of evidence that is connecting these PPIs to dementia. And researchers believe that there are a few mechanisms that are at play here. One is that the use of PPIs causes vitamin B12 deficiency. And we know that vitamin B12 is really important for cognitive cognitive function, and brain health. The other connection is deficiency of magnesium. Magnesium uh, and a super important mineral for many body functions, but also important for brain health. And third, there may be a connection between an imbalance in gut bacteria caused by the use of these PPI drugs and this risk of dementia. So it's something that is being um, very intensely looked at, especially considering so many people take these medications on a daily basis for managing conditions like heartburn. There are definitely things that you can do to prevent and manage heartburn without having to turn to medications. So prevention is key. So what I would recommend when we're eating a meal is to eat more slowly, chew your food thoroughly and carefully. When we eat too fast, it often we end up overeating, but also it doesn't give our body adequate time to break down the components in a meal. And I would also consider looking at a good quality digestive enzyme. That's something I take myself at the beginning of a meal. I take a formula called Digest Gold, which has enzymes that help break down protein, carbs, and fat. It's effective throughout the entire gastrointestinal tract. So that makes a big difference because it gives your body what it needs to break down the foods more effectively, you get better absorption as well. But let's say you find yourself experiencing heartburn or you know heartburn may be a problem, say at a dinner party or holiday event. What I would recommend is a formula called Heartburn Soothe by Enzymedica. And the reason I like this particular formula is it has research-based ingredients and it is non-drug. It works very fast as well. It contains two main components, alginate and prickly pear cactus. And the alginate forms a barrier like a raft at the um, top of the stomach contents, and it prevents the stomach contents from refluxing up the esophagus. So alginate, it's fascinating. It's actually derived from brown algae, and it absorbs 300 times its weight in water. And this is something that is backed by decades of research. So very effective. The other ingredient, the prickly pear cactus, it works to soothe the intestinal tract and help to rebuild the gut lining, which is often damaged by acid. So this is a very effective strategy. It's two chewable tablets right after a meal. And the other piece of advice I would share is that when you have had a big meal, even though you might feel tired and sluggish and wanna to retire to the couch and lay down, that's the worst thing you can do if you have heartburn. You need to stay upright for at least three to four hours after a meal. So I'd suggest you know going for a light walk um, and again, staying upright, not laying down.